Hi, my name is San Ho Tree. I direct the Drug Policy Project here at the Institute for Policy Studies. Um, before the election, my um, work plan for the coming year was going to focus on the drug war uh, in the Philippines, um, which has been a huge human rights disaster. Uh, thousands of people have been killed extrajudicially, and also to focus on uh, Colombia and what to do after the peace deal in terms of uh, drug production and uh, uh, development of assistance for farmers. However, since the election, uh, those priorities have changed a bit. Um, one of the things I'll have to combat, I guess, is the idea of a wall. Um, when um, we can bring in drugs, the smugglers bring in drugs by uh, the ton. Um, so they use now submarines that can divide 50 feet under water, carry up to 10 or 12 tons per run. And there are narco tunnels now that crisscross our border with Mexico. Uh, over a hundred have been discovered. There are probably hundreds more. Those have electric rail systems, ventilation, uh, electricity. They can move uh, tens of tons 24-7. So the idea that a couple of uh, migrants being forced to carry a few kilos of drugs uh, on their backs by traffickers and somehow that wall's going to stop them is ridiculous. But quite apart from my uh, professional responsibilities, I think one of the things we ought to focus on is uh, the role of lies in this campaign, fake news. Um, this is finally beginning to get some traction. Uh, Facebook uh, has been very bad in responding to this. They basically denied that they had any role in this, that it couldn't have influenced the election. But at the same time, Mark Zuckerberg wants you to believe that Facebook can influence your, your shopping habits, but not your, your electoral preferences, and that's absurd. Uh, so when I see all these people marching in the streets, that's terrific, it needs to be done. It's great to, to yell at you know Trump's buildings and that sort of thing. But if you really want to have some traction, and I think we need a victory, something we can actually claim as a success, I, I think if you marched also towards the Facebook offices in your city, there are more than two dozen of them in North America alone, including one of the major cities where the protests are happening, and let them know it's not okay. Facebook had a fix for this algorithm that posted all these lies, uh, but they refused to implement it uh, because it disproportionately affected right-wing websites. And that is not acceptable. Never again must we allow lies to dominate uh, the news cycle.